Hi guys and welcome to another kit review. So as you can see we're having a look at a kit from Academy today. It is their F117A Stealth Fighter. It is in 148 scale. Kit number for this is 2118. Uh, was issued in 1999. Okay, Has been issued a couple of times since by Academy. Once in 2010 as their F117A Nighthawk last flight which had the US flag on the bottom of the aircraft and again in 2013 just as their F117A and the kit number for that was 12265. Now interestingly on uh, Scoutmates this particular box is actually labelled F117A Stealth Attack Bomber but I guess at some stage after 1999 they changed it to Stealth Fighter which is exactly what this aircraft is. This is about uh, one of three or four stealth fighters available. Um, Italy brought one out in 1990, which was kit number 829, which was uh, basically a tester's kit. And Tamiya also brought one out in 1990. Okay, um, They've released that one ag again after that, and so has Italy. Um, in Australia, this one cost me $35, right? Absolute bargain. The uh, I've seen an Italy one go for, well, it's currently advertised as $99, and the Tamiya one is advertised at $155. So $35 for this one was a definite bargain. Okay, so as you can see, there's your stealth fighter traveling over um, some very frozen Alps and stuff like this. So this could be Alaska or basically anywhere. Obviously at night as well, okay, by the darkness of the skies. Nicely renditioned, really nicely done. Um, low visibility markings available in this kit, okay. As you can see by the blurb up here, fully engraved panel lines. Highly detailed cockpit interior, landing gear, etc. Does have two uh, GB27, GBU27 paveways, LGBs included, and also tactical. It says tactical fighting squadron. I think a tactical fighter squadron, and also Toxic Avenger, which is one particular uh, pilot. Okay, so there's the box. Let's have a look at the rest of the box. So the sides. You do have some really nice details. That is your bomb bay with the GBUs. Okay. Of course you get the undercarriage up or down. And um, this just shows you the markings that are available for the Stealth Fighter on the other side. Just your usual warnings, etc. about contains parts, small parts unassembled in um, 10 different languages. Okay. Really nice. All right, so that's the box. What did I get for my $35? Okay, and it is, as I said, a real bargain. So there she is. There's your stealth fighter. Um, just to give you a comparison of how big this aircraft actually is in real life. Here is a 48 scale Mesh Schmidt 109. Okay. I didn't realize that these things were hu so huge. Uh, living in Australia, unfortunately, we don't get to see such exotic aircraft as stealth fighters. Um, we're lucky if we see one F-35 at an air show in Australia. Okay, even though we've got more of them, we only ever see one, all right? Lately, we see virtually nothing, okay? So... You guys in Europe and America where you see these kind of things or exotic birds fly past all the time. Seriously, jealous. Okay, so that is the aircraft fuselage. It comes on a separate cardboard sheet. We have the GBUs and white. So the interior bomb bay, etc. on the South Rider is white. So that's really nice to in there. This is the cockpit, T 
tinted cockpit by the way so that's really nice I do like that and one bag of the bottom of the fuselage okay wings and your fitting so there isn't much to this it is very basic kit to build that's your cockpit all right and of course your decal sheet which looks pretty good I do like that looks pretty pretty comprehensive and your standard Academy instructions okay so I'll clear up this mess and in a second we'll have a look at the instructions and the decals okay so let's have a look at the instructions so just a copy of the box art on the top very brief history of the F117A in English, German, and I'm assuming uh, Chinese and Korean. On the back, you'll see the sprue layout. Okay, fairly basic. You do get two of these, which is just the GBUs and the bomb rack. Okay, cockpit, canopy, of course, and fittings, etc., etc. Wheel day, wheel bay doors. So fairly straightforward build I think for this one let's have a look overleaf so you've got your cockpit tub going together your ejector seat um, there are no decals for the cockpit so it'll be interesting to see how they've rendered the instruments uh, you could of course go for an aftermarket Edward set I have ordered a Tamiya set for this cockpit um, and I'll just adapt it to suit then you've got your fuselage tiles engine intakes the cockpit tubs going up and you've got a couple of parts here which you could leave off so there's a question mark on here this is a small rotating light and these two parts here are um, small reflector panels they go on the side of the F117 uh, for uh, peacetime use so that civilian radars can actually see the beastie okay of course if this was a combat situation you wouldn't have those reflector panels or that rotating light so your choice whether you put them on or not but you probably will have to fill the holes in the fuselage for these little parts here okay so carrying on bottom of the wings go on the fuselage bottom okay fairly straightforward then you've got the top and bottom fuselages going together the canopy going on okay and uh, you will have to mask that can canopy off all right because it is naturally enough black then you've got your undercarriage going together your wheels so all of this is white okay everything is white on the interior of this thing you will have to cut the wheel bay doors if you are going to have this sitting on its undercarriage okay then you've just got your nose wheel going together this is your bomb bay and it is painted white inside all right so the um bay doors for your undercarriage etc they'll be white on the inside and black on the outside all right this is your divider for the bomb bay that's also white this is, and it says make two, so these are your Bombay doors, right? They're just going on, okay? And that just shows you how it's supposed to fit inside. And then you get to your GBUs going together. It does have color, color call outs throughout, all right? Um, you do also have decals which go on your GBUs and if I can show you back here, there are also decals going on your undercarriage leg as well for the nose wheel. All right. Then you've just got your bomb racks going together. Fairly straightforward. It's all white. And then your GBUs go on the bomb rack and the bomb rack goes in the bomb bay. Fairly straightforward. There's your color call outs. No specific manufacturer so that's fairly easy at least it tells you what color to go for 
and then you just use your preferred all right and then we get to the um overall painting and marking so being a stealth fighter it is overall matte black that's it anti-reflective paint this is for the um, toxic avenger which is colonel whitby whitley sorry okay um the toxic avenger insignia goes inside on one of the bombay doors this is just a standard fighter wing this is lieutenant colonel uh, gretchen or as the americans call it lieutenant colonel sorry okay so fairly straightforward low visibility insignia and then the same again top and bottom standard insignia for the self fighter and that's it that is your instructions so talking about decals let's have a look so this is the decal sheet okay so um, that is your toxic avenger insignia standard insignia and markings fairly comprehensive i do like that i did read somewhere that uh, someone thought these were too green the low visibility so if you um didn't like that you could quite easily go for one of the aftermarket sets available i'm just going to go with these because hey it's still money down the down the tube and this didn't cost me that much to do anyway okay so that is your decal sheet and I right so let's have a look at the sprues and of course we'll start with the biggest sprue so to speak is your upper fuselage okay and again i'll just give you a shot of this all right so this is a standard 40a scale mr smith 109 as against the stealth fighter both of which are single pilot cockpits okay so these things are quite big it will take a reasonable amount of space on your display shelf okay so let's have a look so this as you can see not much in the way of panel lines okay it's a stealth fighter it doesn't have panel lines all right fixed of course elevators etc um let's see if i can show you possibly on the wing okay yet yeah, more than likely so you can see there are marks here on the wing as well right here and here you can't feel them i can't feel them with my fingernail they are actually push out marks so wherever there's a push out mark on the inside of the fuselage it has appeared on the outer surface as well okay although you can't feel it all right and there's a bit of flow in plastic can't feel that as well so once this is painted overall matte black uh, those marks will probably disappear and naturally enough this ring here the molding ring that comes off um apart from that there's not much to see a few panels and things like this on this aircraft okay there is a minor scratch there but that's because this is a used kit and i can quite easily fix that but apart from that that is your top fuselage okay so yeah not many panels you won't need a panel wash on this aircraft okay So let's have a look at this one, which is naturally enough the bottom of the fuselage, your Bombay, and the bottom of your wings. All right. So this is the divider for the Bombay. We'll have a look at the Bombay. So there's, there's some really nice detail on here. Okay. There's no evidence of the push out marks because 
All right, let's have a turn around. The push out marks on the bottom of the fuselage are quite light. It's only on the top where they've made that mistake. It does have some really nice detail inside the Bombay. Okay, so it is painted white, but you could get away with a, a light, probably a light grey wash or something like that to bring out that detail. This is the underneath of the wings again. So, like I said, it's a stealth fighter. All right, so there are no panels, so to speak. Not much in the way of panel marks. There is a flow line in this wing, which I can't feel. So that should disappear once it's painted as well. Okay, so that is your bottom of the fuselage. Next, we'll have a look at this particular sprue. So as you can see, this is your wings. I mean, your tails, sorry. These are your bombay doors and your cockpit. Okay. This is your wheel bay doors and your undercarriage parts. All right. Fairly straightforward. So let's have a look. Tails again. Really nice detail. There is a little bit of flow in these tails okay but nothing that will show up i don't think in um, the aircraft when it's painted that is your nose wheel uh, door okay so the detail on the doors on the inside they're not plain that's your ejector seat that's a really nice detail on that ejector seat i do like that there is your Bombay doors. Okay, let's have a look at the other side. That's what's on the outside. All right, fairly plain, nothing fancy. But there is some really nice detail. And again, a light panel wash on that will bring it out. Same for your undercarriage doors. All right, they do have detail. So a very light wash on that. Just to remember, this is a stealth fighter. It was highly maintained. So there wouldn't be any rust or dirt or anything on this aircraft. It would be pristine. It has to be pristine. So let's have a look. So there is your cockpit tub. All right. And so I've got a couple of interesting. All right. There's a mold line. But the instruments themselves are really sharply done. I'll turn this around that way. So I do like that, okay, undercarriage leg, this is the back of the ejector seat, turn this around, get it in focus if I can, there we go, that's your instrument panel, okay, so as I said there's no decals for these instruments, so they'll have to be painted up, which is why I've ordered the Tamiya aftermarket cockpit set from Edward. Because there's a lot of different colours and things. And see, um, the uh, visual displays are green, etc. So it's easier to go for an aftermarket on this one. Okay, so let's turn around. There's your tyres. Okay, there are um, white hubs. So again, a light wash will bring that out. And that's literally the aircraft, guys. Right, so next I will show you this. This is the important bit. 
This is the cockpit, as you can see, it is already pre tinted. It will need some very, very good masking. Okay, that's a jagged edge on there. I'll give you a better shot in the close ups. So, an interesting challenge as far as masking is concerned for this cockpit. Um, I think a couple of these pieces might actually be, should have been clear, but apart from that, they're okay. I do like that. Okay. Um, no, you can't have an open cockpit. It is closed. All right. But uh, it is what it is. Okay. So that is your cockpit. All right. Really nice. Really clear. And from what I can tell, not scratched. Okay. So I'm happy with that. And the only other thing I've got to show you are these two, right? These are exactly the same, so I'll put this one aside. And these, of course, are your GBUs and your bomb rack. And these are your um, bomb bay door um, God, stanchions, etc. So, detail-wise... Not a great deal to see. Fairly easy build. And it is all white. So if you wanted to cheat, you could just leave it white. Apart from the bomb, of course. But um, these are matte white. So once it's constructed, you just paint the whole thing matte white. Same time as you paint the um, bomb bay, etc. And away you go. So that's it. That is all of it. That is... That is Academy's F-117A Stealth Fighter. Okay, 148 scale. Kit number is 2118. Came out in 1999. Fairly straightforward, easy build from what I can see. Um, it is quite a large aircraft. will take up a, a bit of space on your uh, display shelf, but quite impressive as well and i'm really happy with the price that i paid for this one okay so that brings us to the end of this one hope you've got something from it thank you for your subscriptions and your likes and your comments they're always appreciated and as usual guys until next time take it easy and i'll see you later